Listen to this, 6.35. Imagine the feelings and emotions of being able to save not only your partner's life, but also a stranger's life by donating your kidney. Yeah, our next guest, Stuart Keyes, is about to do just that in a bid to keep his wife, Andrea, who has a rare disease, alive. Stuart wasn't a compatible match for Andrea, unfortunately, but the couple were offered a lifeline through something called pool donation, where the donor and the recipient are incompatible with each other, so they are matched with other donors, other donors and recipients in the same situation. These recipients may be a better match through their blood type or their age, and when Stuart donates his kidney, it will be exchanged for one better suited to Andrea in a kidney swap involving up to four mismatched pairs. It's extraordinary, isn't it? Stuart and Andrea join us from their home now in Newcastle. Good morning to both of you. Oh, yeah. Morning. You're right. Lovely, lovely to see you uh, this morning, both of you, Stuart and, and Andrea as well. Uh, Andrea, can you just sort of talk us through what life is like for you at the moment uh, in the process of waiting to get this uh, this kidney transplant? Um, it's it's quite hard. I get really tired. Um, I'm on dialysis four times a day, every day, um, and it's just it's just hard. I'm, I'm stuck in the house quite a lot, and it's just changed my life basically. So you're hoping and praying that uh, the kidney donation will be the solution for you. When did you become aware that this kind of kidney swap was an option? Because it's a relatively new thing, isn't it? Because new laws have been passed to make it possible. Um, so when did you become aware that it, yeah, it was it's... even there? It's been going on for a few years. Um... What, what happened was my brother came forward to be a donor and he was a match, but he couldn't do it because of medical reasons. So then Stuart came forward, but Stuart was a complete incompatible to me. Um, and that's when the hospital said that it, it, they could do the pool thing, they could do the pool route. So Stuart, what do you know about uh, the other people that are involved in the pool? Do you know how many other people there will be? Will it be a four-way match? Is it just you giving a, a kidney to somebody else and their kidney matching with Andrea's? We don't really know. <clears throat> we don't really know exactly how many people are going to be involved, and we don't know an exact date. Um, we get registered for the pool, assuming Andrea's well enough to go through with it, and then it be, it goes down to compatible matches on the day on the day of the operation, basically. God, there's so, there's so many. So many balls seem really to be know, being. Sorry, Stuart, there's so many balls seem to be being juggled in the air at the same time. You don't know how many people are involved. You don't know really what the dates are like. Obviously, Andrea's going through dialysis four times a day. You've got a young family as well that she's having to look after. You're trying to go to work. How on earth are you all coping, Stuart? It's not easy. It's really not easy. Um, but we've had a lot of help from family and friends, um, it's, which we really appreciate. Um, the kids have been fantastic. They've, they've really stepped up to the plate. Um, we couldn't be more proud of them. Um, it, 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 is a, it is a drain, but we've always managed and I'm sure we will in the future. You're extraordinary. Well, and Stuart, I want to ask you, you know, um, it's a huge thing to get your head around however much you love Andrea to actually donate your kidney. It's a big operation. It's a big thing to go through. What was it like when they said, well, you'll be donating, you will be helping Andrea, but your kidney will actually be going to a stranger? Did that affect the way you felt about it? Not at all. Not at all. It's, um, if anything, it makes you a bit more, not proud, but that kind of feeling where you know it's not just Andrea that you're going to be benefiting, it's somebody else. So there's, it's, instead of one life, it's two lives you're going to be affecting. Mm. Just amazing. I'd imagine, Andrea, that you're never far from the mobile phone. Do you have a mobile phone that, that will buzz as soon as you know that it's time to go and, and, and get the operation together? Uh, no, it'll be organised long before that. Um, the mobile phone thing is only for the deceased side of it, so okay. then that's like a time-limited thing. But the, the actual pool thing takes a lot of organising, so we'll know, we'll know when we're registered and when we're exactly going to have to do, have to have it done. Oh, well, so fingers not, crossed. No, no, of course the operation won't be, but fingers crossed you get the call to say it's on soon, because I'm sure that will make a huge difference yeah. for you. Wonderful to talk to you this morning, and good luck. Yeah, good luck to both of you, yeah. and of course all the people Can involved I just in the mention, pool. Yeah, go on, Stuart. I'm, I'm doing a sponsored walk to raise money for the, the transplant unit at the Freeman Hospital in Newcastle. I'm doing a walk up Mount Snowdon, 
and I've got a Virgin Just Given page set up in Stuart and Andrea's name. So if anybody would like to donate, please feel free. Um, uh, we're trying to raise three thousand pounds, which we passed yesterday. So any more will be really grateful. Amazing. Thank you very much for talking to us this morning. It's an extraordinary Thank hospital. You. I do a lot of stuff for the Children's Heart Unit at the Freeman as well in Newcastle. I'm very proud to be a supporter of that as well. That's a fantastic hospital. It really is amazing. Good. Fingers crossed it all goes to plan and sooner rather yeah. than later as well for both of you. Thank you very much for joining us and good luck with the walk as well, Stuart. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you.